Hey guys, my name is Catherine Shelton and I wanted to make a really quick video about Google reverse image search. Now this seems to be something that keeps popping up lately in a lot of different contexts and I think it's a really, really useful tool. So what I want to do is show you three ways that you can use it if you are selling on Amazon, if you're selling on Merch, or if you're just a general seller looking for things, looking for cool products that you can sell on eBay or pretty much anywhere else. It's just a really awesome research and sourcing tool. So I'm going to start off with a real example and this is a picture that was shared recently in our Facebook group, Treasure Hunting, by a really lovely lady. She said she'd found this at a thrift shop and she'd actually found four of them. They were gift bags. At first I didn't even know what it was. I was like, what is this? It's beautiful. And she said it, it's from a gift bag. And she didn't really know anything about it. It didn't really have any words on it or any UPC or identifying information. And so I thought the easiest way to figure out what it was, where it had come from, and to look at whether it was something that you could source to actually sell on Amazon or anywhere else, was to use Google reverse image search. So this is all you do, you go to Google, you actually go to images.google.com or you can just go to Google and click images. It usually shows up somewhere here at the top and it says images. So you can either go to this direct link or click it from the main Google screen. And all you do is you take that particular picture and usually you have to crop it a little bit just to get, like if, if there's a lot of um, noise in the picture or a lot of things around the outside, just crop it down. You can do that in pretty much any simple photo application. I just do it with photos on my Mac. You can do it with Canva, you can do it with Photoshop or, or whatever you feel comfortable with. So I, I think I cropped it down slightly just to get a bit of noise out the background. And all you do is you just drag that across to the search bar. And when you hover over the search bar, it actually changes and says drop image here. So you just drop it anywhere there, takes a moment and boom, it's, it's found something here. So let's actually scroll down pages that include matching images. So I do see a problem here in that they are all in Russian, but that's actually still could be potentially quite helpful to us. So we go to this site and again, yeah, it's in Russian. And where are our images? We scroll down a bit, boom, there they are. These are the four gift bags that the lady in treasure hunting had found. And thankfully, Google actually gives us this uh, option here. This page is in Russian. Would you like to translate it? Yes, please. And we find out that these are actually for sale, pack of 12 assorted bags. There's the sizing. So this actually has shown us um, a source for these bags, which have apparently come all the way from Russia. And you might be able to buy these online. Most of the time, the products you find, especially in thrift stores, won't be as obscure as this. Um, you might be able to find them somewhere a little bit more local. And this tool is great for identifying things like perfume bottles, which often have lost the label or don't have the, the information on them. They're great for identifying patterns like wallpaper or gift wrap paper, art. You can use them for fine art pictures. Just take a quick picture of whatever it is with your phone, of the picture with your phone, upload it to your computer and just pull it into Google Images and you can do a reverse search there. So really, really powerful way to search and to identify things that you just don't really know what they are. I'm going to show you a second way to use the Google Image Search and I think Amazon sellers will really like this. Let me go back to the images of Google. Let's go back to that. Okay, so I think this is something that Amazon sellers will really like. You can actually use it to figure out sources for any product on Amazon. So for example, I did Party Bundle and I looked this up and apologies if this is your bundle. I'm just going to pick the first real bundle that shows up, which is funnily enough this one, Five Nights at Freddy's. And my daughter is a big, big fan of Five Nights at Freddy's. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this to bring up the bigger picture. And I'm just interested in these balloons. So if I wanted to find out more about these balloons and where they came from, I can actually screenshot them like that. I just use Command, Shift and 4 on my MacBook. Uh, how you do that on a PC might vary. And I'm going back to Google Images. And here's my picture that I took, the screenshot image. And I'm just going to pull that in, drop the image there. And let's see what comes up. Okay, this looks like our balloons. So I can look here. This is the first one. It says, best guess, five nights at Freddy's party supplies. Okay, but I don't see our balloons there. But actually, this is kind of useful because this is a website, birthdayexpress.com, and it's showing us some five nights at Freddy's party supplies. So we could use this to start putting together our own bundle. Okay, I... And you can get a, a free welcome gift, apparently. Awesome. So that's kind of useful. Uh, let's go back and look for something more exact. So there's a lot of Pinterest ideas. There's the actual bundle itself. Okay, let's go to visually similar images and see what we can find there. Okay, this looks like our balloons. In fact, that's pretty much it. So let's click that and see what comes up. Oh, look, it's AliExpress. Wow, okay, we have just pretty much, oh, wait, that's the wrong thing there. Let's just cheat it a little bit. Phone nights at Freddy's Balloons. And there they are. So you can buy these on AliExpress for $16 for 100 pieces. That's 17 cents a balloon. So you've pretty much reverse engineered this bundle, or at least that part of the bundle. And you can do the same thing again with the bracelets as well. In fact, we can just do that very quickly uh, and see if we can actually track the bracelets as well. So we go back to the Google image search right there. We're going to drag that screenshot in. There it is. It finds the bundle. And if we hover over these, we can see where these are coming from. DH gate. Boom. So there you go. You can actually go and find these at this wholesaler. You can find them on here somewhere. You might have to run the search again just because sometimes the way it, it, it indexes the pictures is a little bit strange but you could do five nights wristbands. Now we know they're at this site and there they are. So that's pretty much how you can like deconstruct a whole bundle and find the products online. I don't recommend doing anything mean to your fellow sellers like stealing their bundles or copying their bundles exactly. But I do think this is really useful to find out where people are sourcing, where they're getting their products. I would also advise, personally, I wouldn't buy anything branded from AliExpress or Alibaba or any overseas wholesaler, because the chances are they are not authentic. So just putting that out there, if you do that, it's totally at your, uh, your own risk, and I don't recommend it. But this is a really good example of how you can use uh, Google Image Search for sourcing and doing a reverse image search on products that you're interested in selling or selling similar things. Okay, so the last use of Google image search I'm gonna show you, let's go back to Google image search. The last thing I'm gonna show you, this is another way I use it, also with Amazon, um, is for merch shirts. So I had an idea uh, at Halloween, I thought it might be kind of fun to do a shirt with a pug wearing a, a pumpkin um, and this kind of came about because I was talking to my son and he loves wordplay and he said pugkin and I thought that was so cute that you could use the word pugkin on a shirt with a picture of a pug. Oh, in fact someone's done it look at that they've got pugkin spice how funny is that that was kind of the the idea we were going for so I guess it wasn't original but you can actually use this with merch to kind of give you an idea of where people are getting pictures from. And this can be really useful for helping you source artwork. Uh, maybe it's stock photography. Maybe if it's fine art, it's even public domain. Okay, so we're looking at this t-shirt here. And all we need to do to find out a little bit more about this design is we do a quick screenshot. And I'm just gonna crop out the bit that I think is interesting. And I don't wanna copy this guy's shirt. This is a cool shirt. I don't like copying anyone's designs. I don't like infringing on anyone's rights. 
but it's kind of useful to help you do a bit of research figure out where these images come from. Maybe there's a uh, stock photography that people are using. Maybe they're using clip art. Maybe it might even be from somewhere like Pixabay, which is free for you to use. Uh, it might even, if especially if it's older art, like fine art, it may even be in the public domain. So this is kind of an educational way to use Google image research just to, to find out more about any particular design. So I've done a tiny screenshot, that's all you need. I didn't even have to blow it up big. I've got my little screenshot there and I'm going back to Google Images and we're gonna drag it across and see what comes up. So Google Image Search, it does a couple of things. It gives you related ideas, similar ideas. It tells us there's Humphrey Pug Cartoon on Facebook. I'm not gonna go trolling around Facebook now, but uh, it's possible that maybe this image came from there or someone posted it on that Facebook site. We can also see that the shirt's actually been done a lot on Sunfrog, uh, on different websites, Redbubble, which actually gives us an idea. Maybe we could put our own shirts on some of these sites. So it kind of tells us more about that. We can also click to visually similar images and it gives us a look at all these different pictures of um, things that kind of, in pictures that kind of have some similarities. So there's more sort of animals in pumpkins. I love this little cat or dog, I think it's a cat, in, in a pumpkin. There's more pug designs, which kind of could give us an idea for what we want to put on our shirt. Maybe there's a different way of doing it that we haven't envisioned. And of course, here's our actual image. So you can see it looks like this was specifically made as a t-shirt design. So that's really cool to see. It also gives us some su suggested keywords here, Halloween pug cartoon. So this is actually really clever. Google has told us what the picture is. We didn't type that in. Google has come up with that for us. And we could do something really clever like this. We do site uh, pixabay.com. These images are all coming from Pixabay. You see that? And while they're not sort of directly related to our picture, these are all free images that are related to either Halloween or pugs or pumpkins or cartoons. And this has given us a world of new ideas we could use for our shirts. We could take cartoon off there and boom, there's some pugs. And the great thing with Pixabay is that everything on there should be free for you to use. Uh, you can use Pixabay images, I believe it's under a Creative Commons license that allows you to use all their images in any way you want without accreditation. So that's pretty exciting. This, this has given us a lot of sort of new ideas. And what you could do is actually take this image or this image and actually um, mash it up using an app like Enlight or Photoshop or Illustrator and mash that up and create your own pug Halloween picture or Christmas pug picture. If you watch my Enlight video that's also on YouTube, you can see how I did a mashup. I actually used this image and turned the pug into a pug that was actually being abducted by aliens. And I did that using the Enlight app. So cool, I hope this was useful to you. We looked at Google image search there which is just a really powerful tool. We used it in three ways. We used it, first of all, to find the source for an unknown product, which is awesome if you're a thrifter, a picker, if you're selling things on eBay, it can really quickly help you identify products. Uh, secondly, we used it for Amazon to find sources for products we might want to sell on Amazon or to find similar products uh, that we could sell on Amazon. And we used it for deconstructing and reverse engineering bundles, which is pretty amazing. And thirdly, we used it for merch to show how to find images that are being used on T-shirts to give us some ideas of uh, more types, more photography we can use, more pictures we can use, and to find sources for images and photographs. So I hope that was super helpful to you. Do let me know if you have any questions. If you've enjoyed this video, please come and join us on Facebook. Our group is facebook.com slash groups slash Catherine Treasure. 
and that's the Treasure Hunting with Catherine Facebook group. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.